presented by the Power of Poison exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Well, we lost an hour of sleep last night because of daylight saving time, but have you ever wondered why we even bother with the practice? Meteorologist Michael Behrens explains why. Well, I hope you're having a good morning in West Michigan, but if you're anything like me, this morning isn't the best because you're waking up tired, kind of with a dragging feeling, and it's because you lost an hour of sleep last night to daylight saving time. Also, if you're like me, you're looking for someone to blame. So who can we point the finger at for the reason why we have to move our clocks? Well, many people blame Benjamin Franklin. And while there is some truth to this, as he did write about the concept of changing the clocks to follow the sun, this was more tongue in cheek than anything else. He just wanted his day to follow the sun instead of the clock. So if he can't take the blame, who's next in line? Many people talk about farmers when they talk about the reason for daylight saving time, but guess what? They wanted nothing to do with it either. Just because you move the clocks, it doesn't change when animals are ready to go through their daily routines, what part of the day you can harvest the crops during, or when the workers need to be in the fields. All moving the clocks really did is put their schedules in a bind, especially when it came to when you had to take crops and produce to the markets. So if it's not the farmers and it's not Ben Franklin, who is to blame for this clock change? Well, like many things in the last hundred years, it goes back to the World Wars. World War I and World War II, the idea was that you you could save resources by moving workers hours to align with the daylight hours. That meant you didn't have to burn so many electric lights, fuel for lighting or fuel for heating. Another fact to throw in here, this savings doesn't exist anymore because everything in modern life has air conditioning and when workers are at work, when the sun is blaring in the sky, you're burning more fuel to run those air conditioners. Even after the war though, we didn't have a consistent daylight saving time until 1966. That's when the Uniform Time Act was passed by Congress and even then it didn't settle the debate. Here in Michigan, we decided we weren't gonna bother with daylight saving time in 1967 and that was the case until 1970 when we started observing daylight saving time once again. So if you're like me, grab an extra coffee this morning, get yourself ready for the day, and let's cross our fingers that we can get rid of daylight saving time at some point in the future. For now, though, reporting for 13 on your side, I'm meteorologist Michael Barrons.